they already have case rejected for Olympics 2028. If you had to choose who would make a team from the Pistons, who would... Ooh, that's a good question. Rise above. I definitely think Kate should be there for sure. Do you mean like in addition to him? That's a good question because we have to kind of project out four years from where these guys are now and where we think they'll be. I, I want to say J.I., but your starting backcourt is not going to go to the... It's just not going... You know what I mean? Rarely does it... almost Has that ever happened before where a starting backcourt has gone to the Olympics? Stephen Clay never did. Joe D and Isaiah never did, obviously. So I don't think that would happen. So Cade and probably either JD or uh, Sar or Holland. Yeah, probably Sar. Probably Sar. Talking about Holland and Asar. I think Asar, the difference between the two of them. I think Holland is more of a slasher, right? He's more of a slasher. And Holland really doesn't handle the ball. He's not a shot creator. Asar is more of a creator. You know, people talk about, you know, Amin being the point guard and potentially Asar playing some point at times. You know, that's been something that's been mentioned. So I think that's the difference. One, Asar is more perimeter based, even though he can get into the lane and get into the, you know, into the paint. He's a great rebounder, running the best rebounders for his position, right? But I think he just has more to his bag. Defensively, I think they're very, very similar. Very, very similar. I think Holland's a little bit stronger, but I think they ha both have the range of being able to guard one through four, both of them. And some fives depending so that's kind of my take for the two of them uh, if you guys have any thoughts on that let me know what you think about those two guys i would probably say jd i'd probably say jd just because a lot of what we're learning too a lot of it we already knew but a lot of it even more so we're learning is the importance of relationships when it comes to team usa right we're learning that we're learning the importance of relationships and lack thereof when it comes to players who are not selected. And I think for JD and K, the fact that they've been there already, it helps them. Grant Hill has already gotten a chance to get to know him. Steve Kerr's already got a chance to know him. There's some familiarity there. So I think that will kind of give him an edge over somebody like an Asar. Even though somebody like an Asar would be a great glue guy type of player, Tayshaun Prince type of player when he played there. Um, Chris Paul just shouted him out, by the way, talking about how professional he was and how good he was for that team, Tayshaun Prince. But Asar could be that kind of guy. But I think just the rapport that JD is already built with Team USA, you know, I think that is what would give him the edge. We should have learned about the importance of relationships. And that's kind of what I was alluding to, Tony. We learned a little bit then, right? We, we should have had our heads turned then. But now you see how shoe companies are coming into play with Nike because they're a sponsor for Team USA. And if you got two guys vying for one spot, the guy who has the Nike deal versus the guy who has the Adidas deal, the guy with the Nike deal is going to get the nod. I can't confirm that, obviously, but that's, <laughs> that's kind of been the case. So everybody here knows as far as with Jalen Brown not getting selected. And it's, for me, with Jalen Brown, it wasn't the fact, okay, Derek White is a better fit. Okay, cool. I, I get it. I understand that part of it, but it's just the fact that three other guys are there and he's not. That's the part for me that makes it seem like there's some legs to those theories about how important those relationships are. If you say something negative, it could take you down the wrong path when it comes to opportunities like this. And you know, Jalen Brown, is, he's going to speak his mind. He's very, very intelligent, a very intelligent guy. So that was the part for me that kind of bothered me. It wasn't who they selected in place of him. It was just the fact that there was three other guys and he wasn't one of them, you know? Hotter than MTV in Y2K You don't want to see but that Y2K Breaking records set by Michael J Bringing glory days back to the future Michael J He's way ahead of his time, he's got a plan, yeah Let off by none other than his brother Cannon If this is more than a game, it's a passion Why they sleep, we work it, cause I'm a passion Jayden, I'll be on the way and get that Porter ride Electrifying through the air Shot. And it doesn't really matter if you love him, like him, hate him That boy is poison